in a fancy photo, how to create a multicolored stroke design. Something like this. Of course, it could be made up of many different colors. Let's start right at the beginning. Just remove that. Just go over here and select the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool, create a square, or of course, any rectangle. But I'm just gonna create a square, something like that. With that, I'm gonna duplicate it. Now I could manually do it, just select the move tool. And with the move tool selected, I can just duplicate it by holding down the alt or option key on the keyboard. But also now I can press return or enter and this panel will pop up. And you'll notice there you've got vertical. I'm just gonna create multiple copies. So duplicate, number of copies, maybe five or six. Obviously you might want different colors, maybe 10 or 15 colors, up to you. But I'm gonna go with say seven. This can change vertical, and you can see as I do that, it just stretches off there, and at some point, you'll reach that. Something like that. And then click OK. Now that's made up of multiple squares. And I can simply go to the Move Tool again, make sure that's selected, click, and then click there. Click there, click there. And of course, I can use different colors. Also, I could add maybe a shadow into it, simply by going to the layers and adding effects for maybe all of them, or just a single entry. And I can select that one, maybe go with the green, and let's go down and select that one, orange, and maybe select that one with purple. And you can see, of course, I can create multiple ones like that. And there's another one at the bottom. Now I can resize that. Let's just resize a bit so you can see them all. And I'm also gonna change that color. So let's just go with a blue, oh, I thought we'd use that one, maybe that blue. So I've got that. So I can select them all. With them all selected, I can then go to layers, right click, and I can group. Then right click again, and I can rasterize. So they're all rasterized into a pixel layer. Now I can turn it into a brush. So I can go over here to the brushes panel. Over here, right side menu there, click there, and down the bottom, new brush from selection. So I'm just what I've got selected there, new brush from selection. And now you can see it's been added there. Let's just remove it now, I don't need it anymore. And so I just move that out of the way, move that out of the way as well. And you've got the brushes. You can find all these panels in window and brushes, etc. But you can also just double click. And you can see it doesn't look great. You've got a bit of breaks in it, not ideal. Go to general and then you can change the spacing. Now you can only go down to 1% can't get any lower. So there might be occasionally some fragmentation there. And also you can modify the size. I don't particularly want massive brush, so 400, 500. And then I can also go for rotation, so you can see you can rotate it. But also you can go for dynamics, maybe go for size jitter. And you can see as you change that, you get effect like that. Also you can go here, instead of pressure, you can go for cyclic, and you get effect like that. Click here this profile, and you get different designs very quickly that way as well to create some interesting brushes. Now you can actually try it out. As long as you've got B, press B for the brush tool. You see it's now selected over here, just apply it. And you can see now it creates that. Now, unfortunately, when you the cyclic, click, you'll notice occasionally it does sort of have a little bit of fragment touch. It's a bit rougher. So personally, I just prefer just to go with pressure like that and go there and maybe reduce the size down a bit again and again apply it again let's just try it again and you can see now looks a bit i think nicer looks a bit cleaner but also we can do again dynamics so click there you can maybe go for rotation jitter so you can see then you can create some interesting rotation designs and also is a random you cyclic and you can see you can create something like that again different profiles Will result in different curling of those colors and you can see then it creates a very interesting sort of psychedelic now unfortunately you can really see that sort of break in the design there it's sort of it's a bit rougher but let's just put it back again to just none but you can see you can do that to create some interesting designs also if you want you can go for say scatter y to create an interesting something like that maybe 86 percent don't have to push it too high 
Again, just move that out of the way and then apply it like that. And you can see then you create this very unusual scatter effect with your brush. You've got the colors, but it's just, just sort of jittering up and down. And again, exactly the same as before. You can always go to brush selection here and go and say scattering instead of random. You can go for cyclic and you can see then you get this sort of design. Click here, change profile, and you get different results from that. Or simply just put it back down to zero. And also, you jitter. And then you can get a brush like that where it applies. And you can see then you get lots and lots of random colors very rapidly like that. If you don't want that, you can also go for cyclic. So cyclic there, and you can get a result like that. And let's apply it now. And you can see now you get a lovely sort of rainbow stripe design effect. Exactly the same as before, you can cyclic, just click here over the profiles, just click there, you can see results in different profiles and different brush designs. And again, you can see now you get results like that. All kinds of different brush strokes can be created from a very basic set of shapes, such as those rectangles. But you could, of course, use circular designs, maybe slightly different lengths. Now, you don't have to, of course. Let's close that. When I was creating this with rectangle, simply go to rectangle, you don't have to create the same size. You might decide to create that, like that one, and hold down the ultra option key, duplicate it, and then maybe create something slightly bigger, something like that. So you can create some slight variations of the brush that you've got here. You can also use this stripe brush with symmetry. So make certain you've got the brush tool selected, then go up here, and set the symmetry on. Make certain the size is about 300 or 200. You don't want particularly a huge brush. And also I'm gonna go with four for the symmetry. Mirror and lock turned on. And then apply. And simply just apply it like this. And you can create all kinds of truly abstract symmetrical designs very quickly, something like that. You can of course also apply effects as well. So simply go to filters, distort, Deform, maybe go to mirror, select that. And with that number of mirrors, you can see increase that, change your input and create designs like that. Very psychedelic, surreal, colorful designs very quickly, click apply. And of course you can repeat that, apply it again. And apply it, create all kinds of unique tile designs, super colorful designs. And of course you can use different colors different hue saturation, other color effects as well. Also, you don't have to go with four. Maybe decide, you know what, let's just go with eight instead. Now apply eight and you can get a different design very rapidly, create unique color effects like that. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.